car. Hello. So, uh, what made, what made you want to get involved with British esports? So, uh, I've always loved competitive gaming. I did it when I was younger. I still try to do it as much as I can now. Having a young family makes that a little bit more difficult. So I decided to bring it into my school. Now we originally started with three man Overwatch last year um, and it quite literally exploded from there onwards. Fantastic, fantastic. So why should schools like yours be looking at esports as part of their you know, daily life? So competitive gaming has a huge amount of benefits for the students. Um, it allows them to come in and mix year groups. So we have year seven students who regularly play with year eight, nine, 10, 11, even year 12, 13 students. So we have 11 year olds and 17 year olds and 18 year olds playing in the same room and the same teams, teaching each other different things. Um, communication, the communication skill is so important in esports. Uh, we found the students that take part their communication skills have increased so much, even over the short space of time we've done it, that that alone has been the single biggest benefit we've seen. And just the enjoyment factor, you see the kids in a completely different light when you bring esports into schools, because it is something they are incredibly passionate about. And as long as you match that passion, you should have amazing success with it. Fantastic. So, um... With the students that you've got participating at the moment, what are the main benefits that you're seeing with them as students? So as students, we uh, the amount of students we have involved is, is quite large. It's near enough 50% of our student base is involved. Um, and that is, uh, is a whole combination of students. We have the ones who are usually quite outspoken, naturally come in and still be outspoken as they're playing. But it's also those students that are quite reserved, that you, you don't normally talk to, who wouldn't normally talk to you. Um, all of a sudden come out of their shell and are really engaged and involved in it. Uh, we've had students' uh, attendance percentages increase because of it, because they enjoy coming in, they enjoy the competitive nature on it, they enjoy taking time with their friends to do something they enjoy. Um, and again, the communication side of it uh, has, has been probably one of the biggest, biggest increases we've seen recently. So as a teacher, what advice would you give to other teachers you know, who are looking to participate or get involved? I would say the first thing any teacher or school looking to get into this sort of thing, you have to do an internal tournament first. Um, pick a game, talk to your IT department and see how it runs within your school infrastructure. Um, that's probably the surefire way of making sure you get rid of any bugs or you, you find a few issues that you might be able to resolve before putting the pressure of a big tournament such as the British Esports on them. Um, and it just makes it a better experience once you are prepared to enter into a big tournament knowing that you can fall back on everything you've learned from those internal tournaments. Great. So what would you like to see happen next both in terms of you know, your, your college model development here and also from what we provide as part of the British Esports Association? So, uh, in terms of here, we're, we're still seeing an increase in people who want to play the games competitively, which is fantastic for us. Um, but we're also seeing a massive increase in people who want to shoutcast. The ones who know the games inside out, but maybe just don't have that mechanical skill level to be able to compete at a high tier. Um, these hugely knowledgeable students you can easily funnel into things like shoutcasting, hosting, uh, production as well as a massive part of it. So that's where we're starting to push even more and making sure that we get as many students involved in not just the playing but the whole industry infrastructure around esports such as streaming which is now so prevalent in sharing esports. In terms of the BEC, again I'd like to see them potentially push for more streaming, more shoutcasting opportunities, potential for students maybe to come in and at Insomnia and, and shoutcast the games along with the professionals and really start to see the development of all of those critical roles that are very much behind the scenes. So the production managers, for example, uh, the audio specialists that come in, wire people up with microphones, you know, you can't stream without proper equipment um, and really start pushing the media production side as well as the competitive gaming side. Brilliant. Thank you very much.